Glen Solo Nationals the run to East Coast. Final turn of the sweeper and into the finish, and that came in a time of 66.563, and it's a clean time. 66563. Six, so that puts her into the lead by about 2.9 seconds. But as I said, Julie Wickard's time, who is her closest competitor, had a cone on it. If we take that cone off, it's only about a nine tenths of a second lead. So really tight things are going on there in A stock ladies in terms of the times, the scratch times that these ladies are setting. Julie needs to clean it up into her last run. Assuming Stephanie does not improve a whole bunch, if Julie can drop about another nine tenths of a second and the cones that she's been hitting, she can certainly contend for the class lead in A stock ladies. All right, we're now moving on to the second drivers here in STS. Now, I will warn you, things might be a little bit out of order. We did have the sweet break, uh, but because some of those drivers just got reruns, we obviously 